Hey, this is John and welcome to John's Long Box. I'm in a really good mood today because of two things. First, because I got this gigantic box from Alterna Comics. Okay, so that's from Alterna Comics. I, I cut it with the knife already because last time I opened a box one-handed, it just took forever. The other reason why I'm happy is I found this. This is a, a mount for my Steph of Gandalf. I, I thought I had lost it in the move and I ordered another one from the site, and I didn't get the, the one I wanted, and then I found this one. So two good reasons to be in a good mood today. Okay, so here we go. I already opened the box. <coughs> I remember I, I backed this months ago, so I really don't remember what's in. I, I'm one of those people that uh, you back something and you forget about it. You know, let's get rid of a piece of cardboard. And this I had ripped open already because it's difficult and then this I have I didn't touch okay so let's get all this out of here let's put the box on my board game table check out that beautiful book from boardgametables.com all right there we go all right so oh it's all wrapped in plastic so I'm gonna need to cut this open so this For those of you who do not know, Alterna is a comic book company owned and run by Peter Samedi, a man I have tons of respect for. Just to, first off, his work ethic is outstanding. The guy was uh, working a full-time job and then running a comic book company at night, but now I think he uh, does Alterna full-time. Supposedly he is what to be with like out hustling comics oh wow these are nice bookmarks oh these are cool so alterna comics is is a small independent publisher they print on newsprint so right when i heard that they print on newsprint they, they got me oh, look at these cool bookmarks and uh because of that they're like half the price of regular comics and the people Oh, Tinseltown. I did a video on Tinseltown. I, I love Tinseltown. Uh, sorry, I just got distracted by the art while I was talking. Court, Red Koi. I haven't read this yet, but I got them all. Void Walker. More Void Walker. This is creepy. <laughs> That's creepy. These are cool. I like these. I, I stopped talking because I got distracted. Mr. Bones. So anyway, as I was saying, he prints on newsprint and he keeps the prices down. I, I mean, I, you know, I obviously love comic books, but comic books should be cheap, disposable literature. It, it should be a oh, log. I, I just love this concept. He, uh, so I, I think Mr. Smetty agrees with that. They, sh they should be fun. Like back, my parents, they used to just trade comic books, buy comic books, throw them away, lose them, leave them where you read them. You know, it's, nobody's going to buy a $6 Batman comic book, you know, and on a whim. You know, my f my mother used to give me a, boy, my mother used to give me the change when we went to the, the store. Oh, wow, these are art prints. This is the actual Roger. This was fun to read. The mouse, I forget the mouse's name. Void Walker. Oh. I know I have this comic, but the title is escaping me. This is up uh, Pete Sabetti's own comic, The Chair. And it was turned into a movie. Uh, uh, from, uh, uh, Roddy Piper it was in it. Oh, I know this, and I can't think of the title. This is Exile. That was a lot of fun. Gods and Gears. I, I just like this because it reminded me of like a Keith Geffen's artwork on the uh, Legion of Superheroes. So I, I saw this cover and I was I really really liked it. Oh, I I know this Trespasser. I think this Log. The Mighty Mascots. This is, I haven't read this yet. I have them all, but I haven't read them yet. It, it, the concept is uh, all the breakfast cereal mascots come to life and form a super team. <laughs> it's kind of fun. And that's what comic books is supposed to be. It's supposed to be fun. 
red koi again. That's gorgeous. Some of these will look. I, I'm not familiar with this. This looks. This looks fun. Our oh, Tinseltown. I, I I gush over this comic. Tinseltown was so good. Wow, this looks really good. I'm not familiar with this, but this looks really good. Wow, I hope I hope it's in this bag. <laughs> I'm a sucker for the well-dressed man with the gun kind of guy. That looks fun. I don't know what this is, but that looks that looks scary. This is a collector's case. I think can I can I just open this? Oh, I could just open this. Oh wow. Oh pins. I'll turn a comic. So he, here's a guy who loves comics. Oh magnets. This is neat. This is a pin. This, this is a man who just loved comics, so he went out and uh, made his own. I, I, I didn't finish my thought, but, uh, oh, geez. The people who make these comics own the copyrights. You know, so it's not like Marvel DC. You make Wolverine, and then Marvel owns Wolverine and makes millions of dollars. Or you make Superman, and DC makes billions of dollars, and you die in a, next to a dumpster. Jack Kirby died because uh, couldn't afford medical treatments. So, uh, Mr. Smeddy publishes for other people, and they, I don't know the exact deal. I'm, I'm not behind the scenes guy, but you own this sketch cover, Mr. Crypt. These are very popular. If I had any artistic talent whatsoever, I'd, I'd, I'd like these more, but you're supposed to draw in your own. Uh, covers. Oh, Voidwalker. Okay. Yeah, I, I haven't read Voidwalker yet. More Mighty Mascots. These are just fun. Oh, look Look at this. Cover price, $1.99. Okay, this is right now. The, when I first started hearing about uh, Alterna, they were like $1.50 a piece. $1.99. Two bucks, okay? My mo like I said, my mom used to give me the change when we went to the store. More Mighty Mascots. I guess these are all facing the wrong way. How, how you know... Mom's not going to give me $6 on a whim to buy a Batman comic any, anymore, anytime soon. Oh, the 12. I love the 12. I read this. This this is just a great comic, the 12. The Adventures of Mr. Crip and Baron Rat. More of the 12. Oh. The Father. Oh, I guess this is... Oh, wow. I didn't know there was a sequel. Oh, wow. That's on top of my pile. Blood Realm. I was saying Void Walker when I meant Blood Realm. I'm sorry about that. Just this is creepy. I got all of these and I haven't read them yet. So this, this, ooh, that is, that's kind of creepy. That's like a nightmare. Oh yeah, imagine that coming at you. More art. These are, oh, Tinseltown. Good, because I, I have all the Tinseltowns. I could, I could give these away to, to my friends, push, pushing some alternate on people. This, this was a great series. And the Exylum. Oh, collector's box. Okay, let me move my mess over to my brand new board game table. There's Captain Marvel. Beautiful board game table. You're going to watch me fumble. With this, I know it's not the most eloquent of videos. I never claim to have any talent. Oh boy. More bags. <laughs> More and more bags. At least these I could just untape. There we go. The actual Roger. I wish I had some ability to draw. I, I know I talk about me drawing all the time as a kid. I never said I was any good. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, and it's autographed by Pete Smith. I don't have this comic. Thank you, Pete. This is good. This, this, now I have three reasons to be happy today. Poster. Uh, I know I'm being sloppy. Stickers. Just, 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 just fun stuff. Thank you. Oh, your readership means a great deal to us. Alternatively, take a picture of them and tag us on too. I'm doing better than that, Pete. I'm making a, a, a video on my on my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you. 
hope it doesn't sound like I'm, I'm sucking up to him. I, I honestly think he's a great guy, and I, I honestly love his cup. I'm actually uh, refining a script that I want to find an artist for, and, and, and I would love to have a comic published by uh, Alternative Press, but uh, I'm not that talented. So <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see how that works out in the future. I'm having a, a, a friend read it, the story and reread it and reread it. I don't want to talk about what it's about just in case. But uh so anyway, pizza I gotta put oh no I don't. Pete is ultimate customer service and, and, and pleasing customers in an industry where it's fashionable to uh oh wow this, oh I, th I thought it was double sided. In an industry where it's fashionable to dump on the, the fans, Pete oh wow more of the chair I because this is one of the al al alternative comics that I'm missing so this is great oh wow cool xylem yeah I, I, I I'm gonna have a bunch of uh, doubles now but that's good I, c I could give them away and look dollar 99 dollar 99 uh, actual newsprint so don't don't believe anybody when they say comic books have to be that expensive Pete does it. It's funny because uh, I would be his neighbor, but he moved before I bought a house. I was like, oh, wow, I, I, I live near Pete now, and he, he moved, so no chance of bumping into him at a supermarket. <laughs> it's best for him. Downcast, this is supposed to be really good. I haven't read it yet. Blood Realm. Oh, cool. Blood Realm number one. That's just gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Legends of the That is so cool. Legends of the Log. Gods and Gears. Like I said, th th I saw this artwork, and I was like, I, I got to get this comic. It, it just reminds me of when some old DC from when I was a kid. Look at that. Monkeys. How could he go wrong? That's just such a conflict trope. T-Bird and Throttle. I haven't read this yet. Oh, wow. This is big. Yeah, I, I on my spinner rack over there, I got T-Bird and Throttle. I haven't read it yet. Can't Kill Cade. That's just a cool, cool title. Oh, Mr. Crypt. I don't think I have this. Cool, filling in gaps in my alterna. Mr. Crypt meets vampires. You know, this is an all-age kids comic. Something that uh, comic book companies are forgetting is that you gotta you gotta get a new. Because I, I I think there used to be a term in the industry of comic book industry called whales, and whales were just the guys that were uh, usually older men that would just go into a comic book store and just buy everything once a week or once a month and just buy. A ton of stuff and leave, not cause any problems, you know. Talk a little bit, and and and, leave, and that that was like, with industry counted on them, and uh, the whales are either dying off or losing interest or, or just stopping. And uh, you get you forget for every time you lose a whale, you got to get a uh, ten kids into your store. And I'm a whale in the fact that I buy a bunch of comics and uh, and in my uh, my massive girth. So there you go. Oh, it came out on a Wednesday. Zero. Oh, that is cool. I don't know if I have issues here. That is cool. So there you go. This came in the mail today. I like I said. I, I back stuff. You know, kick. Uh, this was an Indiegogo, but uh, you, you you know, crowdfunding stuff. I back. I tend to back stuff. You know, board game stuff. And then uh, comic book stuff. And then I just forget about it. And then I get surprised when it shows up. So this was just a neat neat surprise. I'm working nights, so I slept late. Heard somebody at the door. Went to the door. Pete Samedi was at my door. So thank you. Thank you, Alterna Comics. It made my day. Thank you. <laughs>